art lovers from across the world these days are coming together in Maastricht, the Netherlands, for what is acknowledged globally as the world's leading arts and antique fair. Tefaf Maastricht features an impressive selection of genuine masterpieces from 260 of the world's prestigious art and antiques dealers from 16 countries. More than 30,000 items are on display, and all of them are for sale. Among them, this dark bronze bust of French Barreau de Bastard. It was created by realist artist Gustave Courbet in 1875. This was missing when they did the big Courbet exhibition in Paris. It was listed as the most important work of 1875, but it was missing, and now it's turned up, spent most of its time in, in, uh, in Algiers, and uh, recently turned up, went to Switzerland, and now uh, we have it. But it's, it, it's a major discovery. It's a unique piece. There is no other cast of it in bronze. The bust comes with its original wooden case, which is covered with Masonic symbols. It's on sale for $1 million. Other gems at this year's Tefaf are paintings by El Greco, Auguste Renoir and Franz Hals. This Rembrandt is the most expensive piece on exhibit. The asking price is 35 million euro. New York-based art dealer Richard Feigen says the global art market remains buoyant as a result of continuing financial uncertainty. There's a lot of liquidity, a lot of money out looking for art, and less and less art to buy with it. And I think that reflects uh, the fact that art has effectively been monetized and now seems to be regarded as a, uh, an asset class, a place of refuge. People don't like the dollar, they don't like the euro, they don't like sterling. Security at the Tefaf Art Fair has been stepped up considerably this year. Last year, on the final day of the art fair, one visitor walked away with two pieces of jewelry worth 860,000 euro without paying. Raymond Franken, EUXTV.